our takes from Coach Robert Livingston's one-on-one interview with the pregame show's Uncle Neely. Uh, they sat down, of course, at the facility and had a discussion. And Coach Livingston said some things that kind of stood out to me, which was talking about when Neely asked about what is what is your identity on defense? What 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 is going to be your calling card? And Coach Livingston said, "Hey, we're not going to take. Basically, I'm not going to take a, a circle and try to fit it into a square. I'm going to use my personnel the best way I can. I'm going to use the guys who are playmakers. I'm going to put them in position to make plays. Um, I'm not going to try to run an 85 Bears defense if I don't have the 85 Bears personnel. So I like that. He's not trying to." come in and say you're just going to run my system I'm going to look at what I have and see where we can put these guys to be most successful uh, what are some of the takes that you got from listening to Coach Robert Livingston with Uncle Neely uh, on that exclusive interview yeah my biggest takeaway is just what you said there in terms of uh, we're going to fit our scheme around what we do best and he, he mentioned that you know defense has five or six guys that you uh, want to get, he, he said, they're kind of your shooters. They're your Steph Curry's. You want to get them shots. You want to get them shots early in the game. And so um, letting those top players uh, feel like they're making a big impact. And then you you kind of work in the other pieces from there. Um, I, I liked hearing that. He said it went back to his scouting background with the Bengals and in just terms of uh, seeing it from a, a different view as opposed to uh, just straight up scheme, scheme, scheme. It's okay. Well, he mentioned that you know last year's Bengals team couldn't do the same thing they could the year before, but it lined up with some other previous Bengals team. So go back to what worked with those groups. And so that's good. The other thing that stood out was uh, the, the collaborative attitude that he seems to have. He said that, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I'm the one they're going to blame if things don't go great. Uh, so the, he's got the, the final say, but that he's got, you know, seven or eight different defensive coordinators in that room with him and that he's going to, you know, listen to them, which, which is important. Collaborating just like us, Chico. I, I think it's a, it's important to, to not always think as a coach that you're, you're the smartest guy in the room and, and you might be, but that doesn't mean you can't get great advice from different people in the room. And he talked about coach primes, you know, the, the fact that he'll be in, in a room talking about defensive back play and he leaves the room and says, golly, why didn't I think of that? Um, and so he's willing to uh, check his ego at the door when he goes into the to the meeting room. And I think that's the, the key for a, a really good coordinator. Uh, and it breeds good chemistry within your coaching staff, right? Uh, when, when you have, as he said it, like he's he's worked for – I people before that are all about themselves and uh, it really deflates your, your just your feeling going into the office every day because you're right. not going to work your best. You're not going to be your, the best version of yourself if you don't think your input's being valued. And so uh, that, that was the other big takeaway. And it sounds like Neely's got part two coming up uh, later this week. So I'm, I'm anxious to see that. Yeah. He left us on a little cliffhanger, which was uh, <laughs> pretty smart. Uh, to do right there so you know I'm excited about what coach Livingston can bring uh, to this defensive squad to this whole team from an attitude perspective also so um, like you like you said he mentioned in the interview that hey if I have coach prime here with me the greatest ever do it at this position that I'm coaching I'll be crazy not to pull from from him or or to listen to him or to take whatever he's trying to bring and I, w- I would be crazy not to invite that in. So I think he has the right mindset. Um, a, a young guy who's been very experienced in the NFL, uh, on the NFL level, and is going to bring that to the Buffaloes football squad, I think, uh, moving forward. <laughs>